Welcome to English Leveling, where we help you reach your goals and dreams by leveling up in the English language. Today, we're talking about an interesting phrase, to break one's fall. Break one's fall. What does this phrase mean and how is it used in English? So to break one's fall, it, it means that you're falling, falling down, you're falling down and you're going to hit something, boom, and it's gonna hurt a lot, right? If you fall down, you're gonna hit the ground, it's going to hurt. But if you're saying that something, breaks or broke my fall, that means instead of hitting the ground and being hurt by hitting the ground, something is gonna come between you and the ground and it's gonna kind of stop the fall, all right? So you're, you're actually, you're still falling, but something's gonna prevent you, something's gonna stop you from hitting the ground and getting hurt. Okay, so something that will prevent you from hitting the ground when you fall. So we can say maybe another ex expression, right? Cushion, right? You kind of, you're gonna cushion the blow a little bit. All right, so you're gonna fall, you're gonna hit something, you're gonna hit the ground, but something comes between you and the ground, you're gonna hit that instead, and that is going to cushion the blow a little bit. So you're not gonna be hurt as badly because something caught you, something you are gonna hit first, stopped you from hitting the ground hard, okay? So we can say, you know, say if somebody fell down, but they fell into boxes, for example. Say somebody fell into boxes instead of just the ground. You say, you know, the boxes broke my fall. So instead of hitting the hard ground, hitting a bunch of boxes is likely going to hurt a lot less than just hitting the ground. So you can say the boxes broke my fall. Another, an, another something, right? You're right. The snow broke my fall, right? So if there's a big snowstorm and there's lots of snow and you fall down, you know, maybe if there's a lot of snow there, then you're not going to be as hurt because the snow is going to cushion your fall a little bit. Okay, so something broke my fall. It made that falling down less painful. It cushioned the blow, right? It cushioned the blow. It made it less painful. It made it better than simply boom, hitting the ground and then being hurt. Now, sometimes this phrase might be used a little bit differently. Uh, you might say, you know, you broke my fall. Right, so say you fall down, but actually instead of just falling and hitting the ground, you instead of you you fall down and you hit into another person instead. Now that person might have fallen down too, and that person might have got hurt, but they broke your fall. You're less hurt because they stopped you from hitting the ground and getting hurt more. And some people might use this phrase a little bit uh, strangely, it might seem, uh, maybe a little bit sarcastically even like, you know, this, this knife, these, these knives, or these, I don't know, cement blocks broke my fault. All right, it's kind of sarcastic uh, to say something like that, right? This, no worry, this glass broke my fall, right? If you say that, you're saying still the same thing. You're hitting the knives, you're hitting the cement blocks, you're hitting the glass, 
instead of just hitting the ground, uh, but in this case, the knives, the cement block or the glass, it might hurt a lot more than just hitting the ground. So it makes the phrase a little bit, uh, a little bit funny in a way. Uh, but yes, some people also use it this way. They say it kind of in a funny way. Uh, maybe they're saying the phrase that's meaning, you know, my blow was cushioned a little bit, but in reality, what they're hitting is going to hurt them even more. And so they're kind of saying it in a funny way. Uh, you know, don't worry, this cement block broke my fall. Well, in reality, that cement block probably hurt them more, but they're just, they're laughing it off, basically. So that's what the phrase to break one's fall means. See you in the next lesson.